My name is Agnes Njiru. I'm 24 years old. I'm a Kenyan citizen by birth. I live in Nairobi, Kenya. I am a nature enthusiast and an expert in recreation and sports management. Well, I grew up in Kirinyaga County where I had a dual lifestyle. Like, um, I used to spend much of my, ch my childhood time with my, my grandparents and during holidays, I had a chance to spend my time with uh, my parents. And uh, during this time, it's when I realized my leadership skills. When I was given a role as a head girl in my primary school, you can imagine reading 2,000 pupils. It was just something else. Then thereafter, I joined one of the best high schools in Tarakaniti County called a Radio of Mercy Girls. And afterwards, I joined Kenyatta University. Well, my love for nature started way back when I was young. I used to plant a lot of trees in my home. I, I remember I have a small lemon tree. That I keep on watering them, watering it around. Uh, in joining university, I joined um, climatic action related crabs such as maestros and rot rotaract which is a, a baby we can call it a baby of rotary which is a non-profit organization a non-profit global organization that deals with um, around six um, six great uh, elements and I chose clim climate action so I was a member of rotaract for a while then um, last year I was elected as their president and in my capacity I was able to motivate young people to go out there and plant a lot of trees. Well, the creation and sports management um, has different levels such as diploma, master's, um, degree and PhD. Um, one can be able to run, uh, create and uh, enhance smooth operation of recreation and sports facilities. One can also be in a position to coach different sports. Again, one can also be able to become a professional fitness uh, coach or consultant. In Kenyatta University, it is under School of Hospitality, Recreation and Recreation Activities. And uh, cheers to my lecturers. Safari Yetu was initiated in 2019, and this was after I realized my passion in traveling and being around nature and people. So Safari Yetu is one among the best uh, tour companies that deals with um, giving reliable and trusted travel uh, packages and also uh, creating memorable moments for the corporates and enhancing productivity. The word Safari Yetu is a um, Swahili word meaning our journey and uh, our motto is experiencing life together. I decided to start Safari to Adventures after, you know, interaction with people doing different things such as team building, tours and travel. So through that interaction, I realized my passion and decided, whoa, I can start something of my own where I can have a chance to interact with people directly and even not only in Kenya or East Africa but globally. Um, most, some of the challenges that I experienced when launching my company is that um, being a student I had financial constraints because you know being a student your, your finances are limited again. Um, my other challenge was getting to market myself where now I try to use the school Wi-Fi apparently and uh, you know I use my um, social media applications such as Facebook, uh, Instagram to invite people like my, my, my company and also put status getting to let them know what do I do, how do I do it. That's all I did. Again, my other challenge was getting to get uh, contacts to relevant destinations. Um, what keeps me going is that I, 
I put God first. I strongly believe in myself and uh, I work smart. And my greatest motivation is to see people not returning home the way they came. I mean, when you take people for example, a road trip or a camping expedition, these people come back, they found an escape and when they're coming back, they, they come very different. They are relieved from, uh, from stress and they are happy, they are excited and they are motivated to work. My role model is uh, Patrick Njoroge, who happens to be the governor of uh, Central Bank of Kenya. I like his motivation towards fitness. Um, he's very motivated to always be out there exercising uh, in Karura Forest. I like his work relation with his, his uh, employees. I admire his, you know, his knowledge and uh, his ability to deliver to the whole country. I currently I work with Rona Kipragat under Central Bank of Kenya. Rona Kipragat happens to be um, an Olympian champion. Yeah, she, I, I also admire her. She's one of my role models too. And uh, through that, we have a program for for them for the Central Bank of Kenya countrywide through on fitness. So we go to Karura on um, on weekends such as Saturdays run, exercise, you know, tell them and, and uh, let people create awareness on fitness. And also once in a while we go for hikes, which are all around related to uh, healthy benefits. And I'm sure it also contributes to productivity at work. Talking of the pandemic, it has been a huge hit in our industry where you, I ca you can remember when COVID came, everybody panicked and it was like, oh my God, how are we going to deal with this? And in that uh, confused state, most people um, stopped requesting for trips, others canceled, local and international tourism was just in a mess. And uh, gradually we started creating awareness as a tourism industry and as an individual where we got to let people know that this is something that we can easily manage and learn to live with we introduced you know a lot of social distancing in the vehicles when you're doing the trips and we also encourage wearing of masks always even if we for example went for to a destination like let me say um, Ngarendara Forest, which has the highest canopy in East Africa. So when we arrive there, you make sure that when you're stretching and doing your team building activities, people are well spaced to ensure that they are well taken off, they are well taken care of and the uh, Ministry of Health guidelines are upheld. As a nature enthusiast again, global warming has really affected um, affected us. You find that we have when we have sunny season, the sun is extremely scorchy in a way that it end up clearing vegetation, drying the rivers, and at some point it end up leaving people in other counties um, very very uh, in a very in a very solid state where they have to depend on real food from our uh, well-wishers and the government. So um, in my capacity as a young person, I have tried to encourage people to at least plant trees. See, if you're celebrating your birthday, say for example you're celebrating 30 years, it is very important to just plant 30 trees to at least give back to nature. Again, if somebody, for example, say by bad duck or good duck, you rose your cross friend or relative, it's good to plant the number of trees, the number of age of their trees that they have lived as a way of celebrating them. In schools, again, we, you, you see, you, you, we can only teach um, there's an old adage that says you cannot teach an old dog new tricks but we can start with the young people who are in schools. How about we, we, we encourage every student to own even if it's a fruit tree or a normal tree where they are 
taking responsibility of that tree, watering it, pruning it, you know, adding fertilizer, adding manure, they'll know the benefit of that tree and they'll go up knowing it's good and it's important to take care of the environment and it has benefits also, not only to individuals, but to people around us and to the generations to come. Uh -uh.